Hey guys, came from 15, joined by my co-host, The Red Wolf. We are back again with another co-host collaboration video for you. Whoa, Cameron, how, why are you in space? Yes, I'm in outer space right now, above the planet, just giving you a nice daily news report. You know, I gotta get away from all the world's craziness and everything, you know. We got verges of wars breaking out and things like that. So, you know, maybe it's best I live up in space. Yes. I okay. wish I could. <laughs> yes, you're stuck on planet Earth. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone up there? Hello? Are we going to do this bit the whole time? Anyway, <laughs> um, it's been a while. Um, this is probably one of the first videos I'm uploading to the channel in quite a while. Now, I did do my video breaking down what animes I would be watching for this spring of anime 2020. Uh, four. My God, what the hell? Um, mind you, you this okay? is this isn't going to be the one. This is going to be one of the shows we'll be collabing together. Obviously, we got My Hero Academia. I read the manga. My hmm. co-host, he's an anime only, and he's just. And then obviously Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. You know, we. I I caught up. He got me into Demon Slayer. I got you into most, almost almost every anime you you watched. Like we, and just recently, we made a deal, and now he's in, in the, and now he's watching Steins Gate. I don't know when he's gonna continue it, but he but but he started it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm still, I'm still shocked to this day. He no 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 no. It's still surprising to this day that he got into ruining the tension. <laughs> after, after every after all the slander he said to me about not watching it. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of Ruby Kenshin, we got another anime that got remade into a new adaptation. And um, it's back with Spice Me. Like I said, th th this is the anime that I was that I was last expecting. But then you explained to me that that it didn't really get like an actual like a ending ending, you know? yeah um spice and wall now i watched like the first couple of episodes of the series the original show that is mm -hmm. and then i kind of just stopped and then i'm i was about to get back into it before this new show came out but i didn't know this and i knew the new remake that we're obviously about to talk about um came out mm -hmm. or was coming out i just didn't know it was coming out this fast yeah, that was just. I honestly, I honestly, un, un, until you texted me, I did not expect it. Actually, I was like, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't tell you like I, did, I was not expecting it, but <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, I just, I just decided to roll with it. Yeah, I always knew there. I, I always knew there was a Spice and Wolf remake announcement. I didn't know it was coming out into the season until I did my like what to watch for things. I thought it was actually going to be coming out uh, in the in the fall, but Spice and Wolf remake is here. Like I said. I watched a few of the first few episodes. I never truly finished the entire show, so both seasons. Um, I know my co-host over here watched Spice and Wolf too as well. I actually did not watch that much of it, but yes, I, I did like watch some of it and I had to remember some of it, yeah. Yeah. Um now we're not gonna talk too much in depth about the story. Like the first episode is pretty basic. Like, let's be honest, it's pretty basic. Um, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just the start of it all. Yeah, it's literally we're introduced to the main male character of the show by the name of Lawrence, who is a merchant. Um, and he just drops by these villages and he's going by this village during this harvest festival that, you know, he's just looking at some people in the town know who he is. And it's nice. They have this bountiful harvest that they get like every year. I think they spe spe specified in the episode um and this bountiful harvest is like i guess the things of this god they revere in some cases called hollow or holo the wolf um a wolf goddess yes the wolf goddess i'd be lying if, i'd be lying if i said i was not intrigued yes we know because your hashtag or your name tag you go by is the red wolf 
Wait, 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 wait to point out the obvious. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Denzel. Anyways, um, yeah, we we get introduced to him. We see one of his buddies. It's funny because like one of his buddies is like, they're doing the crops and everything of these like wheat grains and everything, and they use it for their harvest festival. It's funny because his friend like starts picking the weeds and everything, and he gets like the last ones, and then the rest of the townspeople are just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're pretty all they're they're nice, ha happy, and everything, you know. And then. It, you know, later on in the episode, that's when you have it to where Lawrence meets Holo, the wolf, which is the wolf girl, the main female character of this show. Again, like I said, I didn't get deep into this. I always found it as like maybe now when I watch the original, I'm like, oh, are they like potentially shipping these characters together? But I feel like in, in some cases they they're not, but they do play it off like they could be like an item in the future. Yeah. They... Mm, well, we. We didn't get really like a proper ending for, to the original, so who knows? That is true. Um, I did hear that I guess the original never really truly got a true, true adaptation ending. So people are, I know fans of Spice and Wolf are hoping that this remake actually goes far enough to where they adapt, I'm guessing, the full story. Um, I know out of all like these remake animes we've gotten so far, like Dragon Quest Adventure of Dai, um Rurouni Kenshin Rurouni Kenshin is going on its second season in the fall we all we me and my co host actually did talk about Dragon Quest Adventure of Die weekly on the channel when it was coming out and that story actually finished all the way through compared great, to great great show great show to this day um so you have to wonder like is the because anime series have been doing these as of late so like okay maybe they're seeing like okay we have an old anime that okay we may have not finished the series completely let's bring it back and touch it up with more modern day animation as opposed to the old school animation um and honestly spice wolf looks great the animation looks beautiful actually yeah it does it, it's um how can i say this it's like um, it's very colorful. It's a very colorful. It's got a lot more color than the original. The end. And obviously, you know, when you compare the original to now, obviously you're gonna have your differences. But like, it was more. It's more vibrant. I think that was the word I was trying to say. More vibrant. The colors stick out more. Um, mm -hmm. Like hell, when we even see Holo, her her red eyes glow. It sticks out a lot more than as opposed <laughs> to the original. From what I remember. Yes. I um, vaguely remember. Yeah. Um, so tell our audience how does Lawrence meet good old Holo the Wolf? Uh, yes, she mysteriously appeared in her uh, in his uh, in his cart full of full of skins and wheat too, if I'm correct. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She. He. Yeah. He starts moving her around. Like, wake up. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be in here and stuff. Until suddenly he sees little wolf ears. Yes, and then he's absolutely shocked. And then, what is the number one thing that I feel like mostly guys would start watching Spice and Wolf for? <sighs> People see the wolf girl naked. Yeah. <laughs> just don't just don't just don't expect nips all right that, that would be asking for too much yes um even in the original they, they, they hold they're, they're very truthful to the original series they're very truthful to the original series um very very it's it they're they were very truthful where they kind of cover up her boobs which makes sense that's, yeah that's that's a basically that's basically uh a typical trend they do here <laughs> yeah but she's literally naked naked um but she basically is telling lawrence like oh yes i'm holo the wolf and everything and if lawrence kind of somewhat doesn't believe her to be honest he's like wait what the hell like this girl who's dressed up as a wolf is in my car like what are we doing here and she says like oh i'm in my human form so um she has a wolf form i'm guessing and apparently and they tease this wolf form in the opening, which I think is pretty good too. Also, gonna just say this: I watched the dub of the original show. 
Um, so this is my first time watching the sub. I don't know if the original sub voice actors are like reprising their roles. I guess I'll have to just look it up unless you guys put it in the top in the comment that, section. Then that, 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 that's that's another reason why I'm surprised this this show's getting a remake because like I said, it's it's not that old compared to like Veroni Kenshin or the original Dragon Quest die. Uh, cause uh, yeah, cause uh, back then those those shows they had like completely different like voice actors mainly do because you know how old they were and stuff. And this is like pretty fresh. And Jimmy Tatum and uh, Julia's voice actress, they're yeah. still around to this day. So yeah. So if they ever do decide to do a dub, which I think this show could definitely get an English dub. I hope they reprise the roles. I I think they will. Since yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. e e e crap, I lost my train of thought of what I was thinking about. Oh, the wolf thing. The wolf thing. Um, yeah, and it's funny because there gets like a... There, there's a scene later on where he's like, all right, then prove it to me. Prove it to me that you're the wolf and everything. And she gets like this strands of wheat and then she eats it. And then it looks like she's going to turn into this giant wolf. But in reality, she doesn't really turn into a wolf. She kind of disappears. And then she comes back at the end of the episode. Um, but essentially, her whole deal is kind of... We kind of get at the end of the episode, again, skimming over some things. She just wants to travel somewhere. She wants to travel like this place. I forgot. It starts with a Y. Um, she wants to travel to this one place, but mostly she also wants to go north, too. And she's kind of done with the village because this village, in a weird way, kind of shits on her name, to be honest. Like, they kind of hate her. Um, mm -hmm. uh, which... She says, like, yeah, they say these kind of detestable things about me, so I think it's my time to leave. So um, that's when, you know, you get the ending of the episode. She puts on his clothes so she's naked no more. Sorry, guys. Um, and she's wearing the dude's clothes. And she's like, oh, all right, let's work together or something like that. But he's like, well, you got to work your you, you got to make your own money, essentially, um, and everything. And then they start their journey. Um, so listen. I know we didn't talk like too much in depth and I know to maybe hardcore Spice and Wolf fans, we probably did a bare bones review of Spice and Wolf, but. That went, I, 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 I missed, I mistook that, what, what you just said. Like, <clears throat> bare bones. You're, you're glitching out of it. You mean my arm? Yeah, you're glitching, you're glitching out of it. Yeah, that's the, uh, fake green screen if only i had that <laughs> um yeah but i was saying like bare bones reviews we barely talked about anything so so hardcore spice and wolf fans don't get upset at me we really do like it and hopefully next week i will talk we'll talk more in depth about the episode but today was kind of just like a reaction and our just internal thoughts about a show that we watched we didn't get deep into the original show, but hey, I'm down to watch it every week and review it on the channel. Yeah, every Monday after work when I'm tired. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, any other final thoughts? No, nope. just the... Uh, happy to see another fellow wolf again. Yeah, and who knows? This could be... No, actually, one of my not saying could i think this will be a banger of a show um listen we're already like two for two for these remake animes that came back so uh i think we're gonna be three for three now the question is how far will this remake of spice and wolf go i honestly don't know how many episodes is gonna be running for this season i don't know if it's gonna be like 13 episodes or 25 um i'm just gonna think it's gonna be a 13 episode core Unless they do a 25 dual core episode type of thing. I don't know. We <laughs> might. Um, and hopefully for Spice and Wolf fans, it goes past where the anime, the original anime went. And it tells the full story. Speak, speaking of remakes, don't quote me on this because this, this is just a rumor. I, 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 hear they, I hear they could potentially be uh, remaking a Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, uh, it's just a rumor, but... <laughs> if they do and they upgrade with like new animation well shit I'll probably be there to watch it for the first time mm. 
but like I said, it's just a rumor, cause and it's probably not gonna happen. So I say, I say, don't don't hold your breath on it, and just watch the original. Still a great show. It's funny you say that potential rumor on April Fool's Day. I could have, I could have just said that. I could have just said that. I could have just said, okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could have said, hey, there's a Yu Yu Hakusho remake coming out. <laughs> that could have been your April Fool's prank on the video. <laughs> Oh my! God. Oh my God! The the one chance I had to do an April Fool's joke, and I and I, I played myself. You played yourself. So, 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 someone edited in a congratulations. You played yourself thing in the video, please. Good. But there's always next year. There's always next year. Uh, I can't do the same thing again. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, that's it. That's all we got to say. But um. Yeah, hey, Spice and Wolf, great first start. Definitely can't wait to see more of Spice and Wolf. This will more than likely be a weekly thing unless we miss an episode here and there. Um, Hopefully, we're 100 for 100. I know the last few months I've been very terrible when it comes to uploading episode reviews. But um, yes, this video will probably go up like Tuesday night, not Monday night, because I don't want to do all this editing before I have to go to sleep. Anyways, um, we're going to get out of here. So if you guys like the video, leave a like put in the comment section, your thoughts on the Spice and Wolf remake first episode, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Spice and Wolf content or any other anime content uploaded to the channel. Trust me, Spice and Wolf is one of the, I won't say many, but one of the few animes I'll be talking about on the channel. Again, My Hero Academia, which will come out in May, Demon Slayer will be there in May, and maybe some little of the other small hitters that we're getting every now and then, which will probably just be solo reviews by me. Um, One Piece, I reviewed one of the episodes I I ended up catching up on. I got to review the rest of the episodes. Right now, I'm on the backstory part of Vegapunk, talking with Dragon after Ohara and stuff like that. So, uh, yes, One Piece is coming. It's in the works. The video's in the works. It'll be a few parts, but it's in the works. Anyways, catch you guys in this video. So, guys, stay safe there, and hopefully you guys didn't get pranked, I guess, on April Fool's, because I'm uploading this on April 2nd. Anyways, have a great rest of your day. Peace. Peace.